Hello everybody, welcome back to 91 Dingoes Plays RimWorld. In our last episode, we just got our colony up and running, and um, it wasn't a very exciting episode, but you know, that might not be a bad thing. Uh, what's going on down here? Why is there so much blood over here? Blood of Timberwolf. Okay, so that's where we killed that wolf that was... Um, attacking some of these animals out here. So, what we're going to focus on this episode is... I'm um, just going to lower that so this actually becomes a real freezer. What we're going to focus on this episode is we want to start building private rooms for our settlers. Um, I have yet to decide whether I want to... I guess I will. I'll, I'll build these private rooms straight into the mountain. Um, so to do that, we're going to... First we're going to even this area out. So that's going to be our first step. And who do we have assigned to mining? Just Renata. Okay. That works. <clears throat> Actually, no. Because uh, that's not going to... Let's see, we got a two and a three. So I guess MJ is also going to be a minor, because otherwise we're not going to get enough done quickly enough. Are these refrigerated yet? Frozen, won't spoil. Okay, perfect. It's 72 degrees in here. 62 degrees in there. Why? Oh, because this torch probably generates heat, doesn't it? Produces a small amount of heat. Okay, so that's what's going on in there. What's well, um the speed a little bit. Now I did um, adjust some of my CPU settings between the last episode and this episode, so hopefully, let's see, if I bring it up to speed 3, alright, it doesn't look like we have a frame rate drop this time. I don't know what was going on with it last time, but I did, uh, I did move around some of the settings to uh, try to alleviate that problem. It seems to have worked, but not really going to be spending a lot of time on frame on uh, speed three, probably mostly on speed two. Okay, so now that that's all evened out, let's pl use the planning tool. We're going to go. Our hallway is going to be four wide and fifteen deep. And then our the doorways to our rooms are going to be three wide. A wanderer joins. Okay. Let's. named Ruslan has arrived and is joining the colony. He is a low-wage worker. Alright, Ruslan, let's pause it for a second, take a look at your stats. You're a masochist, a cold lover, you're nervous, excellent shooting stat, at least, you know, for this early in the game. You got a, a low passion for it, um, which is great. Not incapable of anything. Uh, completely naked though. Comfortable temperature. Oh, I never noticed this before. Did my other guys get this? Yeah. Alright, so comfortable temperature, 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. 20 degrees Fahrenheit to 96 Fahrenheit. Wow, why do you like it so cold? But 40 to 90, okay. So you are the one who has the lowest tolerance for temperature change. Good to know. Um, did I have any nudists? Neurotic, abrasive. No nudists, which is, I don't want to say unfortunate, but one, I have a shortage of clothing right now, which is the real problem there. But anyway, um, back to this. Oh, sorry. We want our room, our doorways in our room to be three wide. Um, and then our rooms are going to be eight. Four, five. 
so this is seven. Let's do one. Let's do nine. Nine by six? That should be plenty. Nine by six. Now this, oh, that's 10 by six. Now this may be a little bit uh, too big, but we have, you know, we have plenty of space in here. Right now we only need the, I guess we need three rooms now. So let's go add another five to this. And go one, two, three, and go nine by six. And that's one, two, three blocks that side, one, two, three blocks that side. Perfect. Okay. And we're going to start off by just mining out this hallway. Now, is Rustlin a miner? Nope, but you're going to be a miner. Just take a sip of my coffee. Still a little bit hot. Um, it's been, you know, only been sitting here for like half hour. It's not like it had any time to cool or anything. That's okay. It's pretty cold in here, so hot coffee's not a bad thing. All right, Rustlin, you're real slow. You have a terrible weapon, too. Are you a night owl? Is that why you're up to right now? Or are you up because you don't have a place to sleep? Huh? Oh, okay. Now you're, just, now you're just sleeping on the ground. Okay. In that case, let's install one of these beds. In our bunkhouse. In our barracks, sorry. Workshop. Hospital. Okay. We got low food. Are these good? No, they're, these are not ready to be harvested yet. What's the ideal room temperature here? Do I have one? Does it say? Light requirement. Oh, well, okay. It just says growing here, growing season here. Oh, because it's year round. So there's really no ideal growing temperature as long as it is in the growing season, I guess. Area revealed. That kind of sucks, but I guess it's really not a big deal. We can just fill that in with a wall. There's just a hollow point in there. Minor break wrist. Minor break wrist. Not wrist. What's wrong, Rustlin? Hideous environment. Feeling terrible. Cramped environment. Naked. Slept on ground. In darkness. Uncomfortable. Life's real hard for you, Rustlin. Let's harvest some of these berries. Because it looks like we're a little bit low on food. Because this hasn't, uh... These haven't finished growing yet. Although, I think I might pretty soon be able to harvest those. Um, Hunter lacks ranged weapon. That'll be rustling. Simon have a ranged weapon? Yes. Okay. Um, so we're going to... Is there a way... Yep. Yeah, okay. Hunt all of those rabbits. And... Not the boar. I want the turkey. Too soon. Hold up. A group of pirates from the owners have arrived. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Alright, there's just one of them. 
His name's Nick. He is carrying a poor steel club. He's wearing cloth pants. That's it. Feeling great. Extremely low expectations. Well, you're not going to be feeling great for much longer, buddy. Now, I hope he doesn't attack this. He tries to go in here. I don't know if that's going to happen. If it doesn't, we're going to have to rethink our kill box a little bit. Because I really wanted this farm outside on the fertile soil. Maybe this was a bad idea, though. We're gonna see. Um, that being said, let's save the game here. We're gonna call this real save 001. And that's gonna be our hard save here. And we're gonna wait until it says they're starting their salt up here. Jesus. And when they start their assault, we're going to draft some people, line them up here. Hopefully he heads in that way. He's going to have a little bit of cover here. So I guess we should um, do something about that. My dog vomiting. What's your problem, Cataclysm? You have food poisoning. What's going on, Nick? Alright. Nick's beginning his assault. Pause it real quick. Russell in. You drafted, son. MJ. You drafted. Simon. Drafted. Uh, Renata, you're fine. Don't worry about it, Renata. Uh, spoilage and freezers? No. Alright, where's Nick? Nick is down here. Now, here's the moment of truth. Does he... Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. We're gonna have to think that out a little bit more. attack him. Got him. Okay. Could have been a little bit better. Strip him. Rustling. You're going to equip that club because it's a little bit better. Alright. So we're going to have to figure out a way to keep Raiders from just attacking our farm. Hmm. Well, start by I guess we could... Oh, that's not what I want to do. Cancel. In which case, I guess then we could deconstruct this. Because animals won't be getting in there then, right? Let's build some sandbags here. So they have to climb over that. That way they don't take cover here. <clears throat> I'm 
We'll see if that works. Might not. You know, they might still just attack it around here or something, but you know, we'll see. Alright, so one of you guys can put on these pants. Uh, Russell, you have no clothes on. Where are these pants? Before they deteriorate to nothing. I know you have tattered apparel now, but at least it's better than being naked. I hope so. Tattered apparel is a five. I don't know. Man, who, is there someone that was naked? Naked is a six. Okay, I guess it is slightly better, but not really much. Solar Flare will knock out electronics. Our only electronics is our cooler. It's gonna get real... I guess not real hot in there. Uh, yeah, we'll get real hot there. Okay. This is all set, so we're going to start mining out some bedrooms now. We should set up a tailor, a tailoring bench. Get some, um, get some clothes being produced. Solar flare is ending. Perfect. We need a joy source, which reminds me, I gotta set up uh, rustling on our work schedule. Joy source. What are we gonna do? I guess horseshoes. That's a very simple thing to do for joy. We'll give him something to do, I guess. I hope this works. real question is, do we have, we have 78 leather. So let's go add bill, make pants, do it three times. What do the pants need? They need 50. So I can make one pair of pants probably. And who's our tailor? Simon. Hauling potatoes stockpile. All right. I oh, need materials? But we have, oh, we don't have enough of a specific kind of leather. Okay, well in that case, let's hunt some hairs, because we have a lot of hair leather. There are more, yep, more. Hunt that hair, hunt that, hunt that. We're gonna, we're gonna need to take care of that bear at some point, I think. Come on, man. And MJ's over here is just a crack shot. And Simon. Wow. <laughs> that may be uncomfortable. <laughs> right. And then who is our cook? Russell's a really good cook, actually. So now we have enough hair leather that we should be able to make some pants. Get that going. While we're doing this, I guess... I don't know, will this... Well, telling them to build walls here while they're still mining, and they're still doing this, and they're still doing that, will that just kind of flood them? Is that... that maybe that's the problem that I have with my priorities, like the, uh, the work priorities, is that I tell them to do too much stuff at once without them letting them finish anything? I mean, I guess that could be possible. So I want, I want them to make pants, I want them to mine this out. 
no one is um, idle right now, so I guess I just let them finish these before I move on to the next thing. Are these refrigerated still? Yes, okay. I just want to make sure these these seem to be deteriorating a little bit. So I probably... I know I just said I'm, I'm giving them too much stuff to do, or I want to avoid giving them too much stuff to do, but I think I'm going to just wall that off really quick. Um, try to... I don't know if these are deteriorating because they're just sitting out, or what? Simon, what's wrong, buddy? Urgently hungry, so go get some to eat. Consume a simple meal. Okay. Rustling. You can, um... You can clear those. I guess we should set up... Uh... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to uh, make a a new outfit thing right now, but I'm going to set up, you know, soldier, worker, soldier, soldier. All right, we'll do that. Uh, maybe later on, as things get a little bit more complicated with the amount of the the st the type of clothing we have, maybe then I'll set up some. Uh, set up some custom outfits right now right now what they what they have um, what they have already listed there is is plenty gotta speed it up a little bit eclipse has begun but we don't have any solar panels so it's not going to affect us I can't drop down into those yet I want them to be at least 60% grown before I try to chop them down. So I'm gonna wear these before they just rot. Can we get, uh. MJ just took all our clothes off. Why? That's. That jacket's good. Hold on. I've. I have mismanaged something here. Manage outfits. Soldier. Can't wear jackets. Now you can wear dusters and jackets. Okay. Go, go put your clothes back on. Ah, oh, but they're still gonna wear that. They're still gonna wear off of here. Russell, are you wearing pants now? Yes, okay. You're still gonna wear off of here? So, I know I said that I wasn't gonna mess with these too much, but uh, I guess I am. Um, I don't want that. I... If it's below... 50, don't wear it. Minor break risk. Who? Rustling. What's your problem? Ugly environment and you're hot. Get over it. It's. I mean, I guess. I guess it's kind of hot. It's 90 degrees, but it's raining out. That should cool you down a little bit, dude. 70 in here. 80 in here. Why is it cooler in here than it is in here? Is it because it's closer to this, or is it because this wall, this granite wall, cools things a little bit more? Dark, dark. Constructed roof. No roof. Okay. I mean, I guess. I guess that's okay. Can we harvest these? Okay, that's mined out. I want to pull these out of here. 
and we're going to start constructing our wall. Got to fill in that, unfortunately. Should really do the corners first so no one gets trapped. I know that sounds silly, but it happens. I've had people build walls completely around them and then just be trapped in the corner and just starve to death because I didn't notice. It's like, um, you know, if anyone's ever played The Sims, which I'm sure most of you guys have, if anyone's ever played The Sims, you could just, like, you know, build a room and have someone go in that room and then you just, like, like, seal the room off so they're just trapped in this little death room and they just die in there. Or you would uh, remove the, you know, I used to remove the uh, the ladder from the pool so they would drown because I'm a sick bastard apparently. So you, you can just, you can just like, you know, climb up, climb up over the side, man. I've uh, <laughs> I've had, I've had swam in pools before with no, with no ladder. I don't drown in them. a dry thunderstorm, which is absolutely terrible, that can cause a lot of fires. And I already see one. Okay, this is not good. I need everyone, I need you to wake up, extinguish that fire. Extinguish, oh, this is a problem. Let's go. I need to expand my home area to include this. And include this and that. If there's a fire there, you need to put it out. Extinguish that fire. Extinguish that fire. There's some fires out there. Um, I should probably make some fire breaks around my. Some fire breaks around my walls. It's your concrete. It's nice and cheap. And we're gonna go one, two, th we're gonna go five wide. Sorry, I'm not going to do this right now. Maybe a little bit later. Alright, those are going to be our fire breaks. For the outside. I guess we should uh, fill this area in here with concrete also. That way there's less to hide behind. Nothing will grow in the concrete. Oh, it's raining. That's perfect. Here's another hair. Just hump that. Hair is still the um, thing we have the most of. Are there more hairs in this area? No. We still want, mo I think, mostly hair fur to create. Uh, we gotta deal with that grizzly bear at some point. I think we still want mostly hair fur to uh, build out. Oh, I guess to tailor our. Uh, clothing, because we have the most of that. Although, we could really start working on deer, too. So, I guess let's hunt three female deer. And that's my timer. I'm just going to go just a couple seconds longer. See if they, um... Start building. Am I out of wood? No. Okay. 
Major break wrists. What's your problem, Rustlin? Feeling terrible. Observed a rotting corpse. Where? Where's a rotting corpse? I don't, I don't see any. There's no rotting corpses in here. Was it an animal corpse? Do we have a... No? I, I don't know what that's about. But uh, anyway, we're going to save it there. We're going to call this real save 002. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please make sure to hit the like or subscribe button. Comment if you have any uh, anything you want to tell me, any advice. Uh, it looks like I could probably use it, even if it's not just about the game, about my recording setup. You know, uh, any suggestions about the quality of these videos so that maybe I can uh, start working on improving them a little bit. Um, so once again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.